Okay, as we continue with this week's edition of the video sports page, I'm pleased to be joined by former Bruin Derek Sanderson. And let's back up the clock 30 years. Does it seem 30 years ago you and Bobby hooked up with that pass? No. Wow, the guy had gone by. You know, when I was that age, I heard the older people like Milt Schmidt and Harry say, say, you know, your life goes quick. And I used to say to myself, nah, can't be. But boy, I got, I got little boys now, nine and seven, and you know, wow, unbelievable. What do you tell them when they ask you what type of hockey player you were and how did you play the game? I, I didn't play it for money. I played it because I loved it, but I played it, it, it gritty. Uh, I wasn't as gifted as the other players, uh, you know, the Espositos and the Oars and uh, it was great to play with those guys. And, and when you're playing with players that that good, I think the key is to just not let them down, support them, and do a, and do a job. And I came to the rink every night to play. Uh, my off ice troubles, they that's they're well documented. But I played I played to win. Even though they're well documented, you can send such a strong message to the kids, yeah. to the community, when you think about that. Yeah, I do. I lectured alcohol and drug awareness in schools for uh, 12 years, Carl, and that was probably the most rewarding thing I ever did. It doesn't pay well, <laughs> but uh, it was it was very, very rewarding as, as far as, uh, as emotionally and starting to feel better about yourself and get on your feet. And the people in New England have been great. Uh, they've been very forgiving. Uh, the, you know, I had a fortune, blew it. Uh, I got taken advantage of, and I'm in the investment business now, and I'm making sure no other athletes get taken. You did have a funny story I heard on the radio recently when you played in the WHA that night. They threw the pucks at you guys. Could you share that with our fans? What they did is they uh, they had built the boards four four inches too far away from the last pipe. So when they laid the ice, there was a hole, and the pucks used to go down on the board. So I told the referee, I said, Bill Friday, I said, Bill, we got to cancel the game. He said, geez, Derek, we can't. It's a home opener. And they had ordered a Zamboni, and the Zamboni came that day from Chicago. We went out and drove out on the ice first time and went through the ice. It fell into the, it just went sunk, to, you know, 12 inches, broke the ice up, and we had to cancel the game. And as captain, I figured I'd go out and apologize to the fans. And uh, they'd given out orange souvenir pucks. And the first one went off the glass, and Mayor Rizzo, who ended up being governor of Pennsylvania, he said, Derek, got to learn when to get out of here. This is the time to get out of here. And I said, no, no, it's okay. And then, they, then the people got the idea, and then they all started. Now, I would say probably four or 500 pucks. And even then the kid got scared at the end of the rink, and he wouldn't open the door, and I'm ducking. And <laughs> it was quite a night. <clears throat> Before I let you sneak away, why do so many Boston athletes, former athletes, settle in this area? It's the people. I think it, it, it's uh, they're so good to you. Everybody is uh, very, very kind, appreciative. Uh, you come to something like this here. Paul Fireman puts on a tremendous operation here uh, and uh, the charities. But the people are nice. All day long, people have been great. And the kids are great. Seem like you're having some fun hitting the golf ball. Is that Yeah, I wish I had to hit it better there, but I'll get away with it. There you go. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Carl. You. Okay. Thank you. Derek Sanderson, okay. former Bruin, joining us this week on the video sports page.